Hello, good people. Today, we are going to learn about object. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now the question is, what is an object? An object is the noun or the pronoun or the noun phrase that is governed by a verb or sometimes by a preposition. In another way, we can say what an object is. An object is actually the noun or pronoun or the noun phrase through which the subject completes the action of the verb. So, let's learn how we can identify an object. For identifying an object, at first we must find out the main verb of the sentence and ask the main verb by using what and whom. The answer would be the objects. Let's have an example. If I say, I presented him a novel yesterday. Here, you can easily say that the main verb of this sentence is presented. And if I ask the main verb by using what uh, or and whom, what would be the answer? Let's see. If I ask the verb, what did I present? The answer would be a novel. And by using whom, if I ask the verb, whom did I present? The answer would be definitely him. So, in this case, both the words him and a novel are the examples of object. So, object is basically divided into two categories. First one is the direct object. For better understanding, I will use OD in short form to indicate direct object. And the second one is the indirect object. And in this case, I will use OI in short form to indicate indirect object. Now the question is, what is direct object? When there is only one object in a sentence, whether it represents as a person or a thing, it will be considered as a direct object. For example, if I say, we love you very much. And in another sentence, if I say, you should subscribe this channel. In these two sentences, you can see that for the first sentence, if I ask the main verb by using whom, whom do you love? Whom do we love? The answer is you. As there is no other object in this sentence and it represents as a person, here you will be considered as the direct object. In the second sentence, if I ask the main verb, what should you subscribe? The answer is this channel. And similarly, there is no other sub object in this sentence and this channel represents as a thing and it is a direct object. Now let's see what is an indirect object. If there are two objects in a sentence, the one that represents as a person or someone will be considered as an indirect object. And the another one that represents as a thing will be considered as a direct object. For example, if I say, I asked her a question. Asking the main verb, whom did I ask? The answer is her. Again, asking the main verb, what did I ask? A question. Here, her represents as a person. For this, it is an indirect object, whereas a question represents as a thing. That's why it is a direct object. And it's very important to remember that indirect object always sits 
right in front of the direct object. Another type of object is also seen and that is object of a preposition or prepositional object. Object of a preposition is actually the object that is the noun or noun phrase or pronoun that is governed by a preposition. Grammarians always focus on the head noun in any noun phrase while detecting the object of a preposition. For example, if I say, he lives near a school. Here you can see that near is a preposition. After that, there is a noun phrase, a school, and the head noun of this phrase is school. That's why school is the object of a preposition. But when the object of a preposition is a noun clause, the whole clause is considered as the object of a preposition. For example, if I say, I saw a documentary on how ships are kept together. Here you can see that the preposition is on and the noun clause is how ships are kept together. Here the full noun clause how ships are kept together is considered as object of a preposition or prepositional object. And that's all for today. See you in the next class. Till then, bye bye.